So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can add a simple language switcher like this. In this case, all you need to do is install a plugin and the plugin will automatically transform every content on your website as to whatever language that you need. It's pretty simple and straightforward. There is no manual uh, work involved. Just to show you, this is what you get using by watching this particular video. So guys, make sure that you watch this video till the end so you learn how you can do this. So firstly, open up your website's WordPress dashboard. So once you are in here, you need to go to plugins, go to add new, click on Veg Lodge. You will find something called Translate WordPress website with Glot Translate. So you need to click on this, install. Then click on Activate. So once you activate this particular plugin, you get this message called Weglot Translate is not is installed but not yet configured. You need to configure uh, this particular plugin for this to work. So just click on Weglot configuration page. So once you reach this place, you get something called API key. So how do you get this API key for your Weglot translation? It's simple. Go to Google. Click on Weglot. Open it. And now uh, you need to create an account here. So it says that it's like you can start your free trial, etc. So yeah, this particular service is a free and a paid service, but most of the time the free service would be uh, good enough. So you don't need to really pay. However, if you really want to pay, uh, you can go forward. This is only if your website is like really huge with like thousands and thousands of content. So but otherwise, you can just click on try for free. Just create your own account. So I'll just create mine. So the good thing about it is it doesn't ask you for any other like credit card information etc. All it uh, asks is like a verification from your email. So I will verify the same. I will you will get a email which is similar to this you just need to click on confirm my email and then you need to log in with the credentials that you actually gave in the previous step so you need to put in your project name which can be your website's name so I will put in things of marketing because that's what my website is and then I need to click on the website technology as WordPress so if you are using any other website technology like Wix, Shopify you can select that so in this case it's WordPress so I'm going to click on next Once you click on next, you get your API key right here. What you need to do is just click on copy key, go back 
to your WordPress. Let me just close this. Go back to your WordPress, click on API key and paste the key that you got. And then you need to specify what is the original language that your website is written in. In my case, it is English. Let me just quickly show you. So in my website, I write most of my content in English. In fact, all of my content in English. So I will be selecting the original language as English, but you have a set of language from where, uh, from which you can select. And I'm going to select what uh, destination language I want uh, like to be changed. Okay, so I want maybe let's say French. If I want my website to have both English and French translation, then uh, I can select French as the destination language and click on save changes. Once you do that, you get a message like well done your website is now multilingual go to your website there is a language switcher bottom right try it so click on go to my front page should open up your front page and if you see here you get the option to change your language of your website so the good thing about this big log is you don't need to manually uh, change the translation for each of the content on your website it will do everything automatically so which can be really handy for people who don't really have uh, time so let me just show you quickly I click on the language switcher and select on French immediately the I should get the whole content in French it's easy as that I would also like to add that it's not just in this particular place that you can add this particular menu. You can also add that in your uh, menu page. For example, for that you need to go to your appearances, go to menu. And if you go down, you will find something called weglock switcher. You can actually add this into your menu so I'm going to show you how that looks so I have added into my main menu and clicked on save and then if I go to my website and refresh it I should get my options here so so there is one more thing which I want to tell you that if your like flags come up like this with the languages in the second line and etc if it looks ugly good thing is weglot gives you an option in fact several options to actually change the appearance of this icons so if you go to the weglot settings by clicking on weglot in the toolbar of wordpress and scroll down you have this nice little button preview which shows uh, like how you want to show up your particular language switcher so there is an there is also an option to actually not show both these languages but rather show it as a drop down over here so if you come here check this if you want the buttons to be a drop box so I have already checked here but even then it's not showing up so why is that happening like how can you solve this it's pretty simple uh, let's go to appearances and menu that's where we have added weglot switcher so you need to open this up and there is an option called show as drop down so you need to select this as well if you want to actually show your menu as a drop box like if you want to show your language switcher as a dropbox let's see how it looks right now so yeah if you see now so now it's like it's actually changed as a dropbox right so but still it's in the 
second line so how can I change it in my case I will go ahead and actually make some more changes I'll go to red lot in fact you I can even remove the flags if I don't want to you can check this if you want the flags in the language button if you uncheck this the flag button would actually go away but I like it and I would want to keep it so and there is also different ways different formats of the flag if you see here the format actually changes so if I click on rectangle mat the flags change if I click on rectangle shiny the flag colors are changing if I can select square and select circle so you can choose what you want so I'm going to select circle like rectangle mat and honestly for this to come here I really wa don't want the name of the language uh, I really don't want it because it's understood for my audience so I'm going to uncheck this you don't really need to change anything here you can keep it like this is if you want to change the name of this English into maybe EN and FR so you can keep that here with a shorter name so even that you can do with this setting so yeah you have a lot of setting but in my case I'm just going to remove the uh, language name itself but rather have only flags so for that I am just unchecking this part the where it says check if you want to display the names of the language and I'm just going to click on save changes by doing that now I have this nice little icon which clearly states like okay that's just a lang language switcher so that's how you uh, can get your website translated for free and using a really simple automated tool so if you want to change your website content manually like suppose you don't want to use automated services because they charge you some amount of money after a certain number of content you can always go change the content manually which is usually free and yeah I will make sure to link the video where I explain in detail like how you can translate your WordPress website without using automated software but where you can manually change each content from for example English to French uh, which can be a free alternative make sure to check that hey guys don't go anywhere yet if you are watching this video right now chances are thousands of people just like you are going to watch my videos on my YouTube channel to solve their problems or to learn something this is because I know how to create YouTube videos and I know how YouTube works so my videos get shown to thousands of people and I teach this I teach this techniques of like how you can get your videos to get shown to like thousands of people on my YouTube channel that's what I do I am an internet marketer I specialize in YouTube and several internet mediums like blogging, affiliate marketing, etc. And I teach them all for free in my YouTube channel. If you are watching this video, that's the very proof that my techniques are working and my methods are working. So if you like all such kind of stuff, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon.